Okay, so up to this point, everything we've shown can be done in our standard or free plan for the most part, but now I would like to highlight some exclusive features available in Jira Premium. So Jira Premium is a paid plan that offers advanced features in addition to the essential project management functions we have already shown. These advanced features will enable effective cross-team planning and collaboration. So if, that, so if that is something you found that you're struggling with as an organization, these features are going to be of supreme use to you. Now, one of these features is called plans, which is very similar to the native timeline feature, but much more robust and powerful. With plans, you'll be able to schedule work, allocate capacity, map dependencies, and model different scenarios all within a single source of truth. It pulls data from boards and projects and filters in Jira to visualize work in a customizable interface. You can think of it as a sandbox environment where you can plan and experiment before making any changes or updates to your original data in Jira. You can find plans in the top navigation pane. So, when you click on plans, you'll be able to see any recent ones that you've been working on. Of course, this is where you can also create one, but we're actually in a plan right now. So let's hop out of there and uh, look at some key features. So when there are so many moving parts in a plan, visibility is going to be key. And that is why plans comes with granular filters, view settings, and custom fields for you to create new views that can be saved for quick access or shared with stakeholders to report progress. So like I said, you can filter your plans, add your fiscal year, add custom fields such as dates, uh, add labels, components, and then save any view that you would like to visit later. Now let's go ahead and look at some pre-configured views like capacity management. When it is time to assign and schedule the work, capacity management helps set teams up for success. So whether you practice Scrum or Kanban, you can configure the velocity and length of each iteration for your team to then assign work and allocate your resources. If work exceeds capacity, a warning will appear so you can adjust your plan accordingly. This ensures a reasonable workload for teams and realistic expectations for stakeholders. You can also isolate dependencies in our pre-configured dependency management view. So with all your teams and projects within a plan, this means that you can identify and resolve cross-team or cross-project dependencies early on, avoiding potential risk and blockers down the line. So here we're kind of condensing it. Like I said, you can always expand it. If you need to, you can add fields. It's really customizable. It's, uh, you can easily edit the roadmaps even here within the timeline. And so shown here is going to be the dependency view of a plan. And this is exactly what we mean when we say plans can provide visibility to ensure potential block blockers are addressed early. Here, you can filter and group dependency by teams. You can group it by projects, sprints, and more. So here we are trying to see where the dependencies are for specific projects. And here can, you can see exactly what's happening. So when you see that red, that means that there is a potential problem. You can also share your dependency on a Confluence page where you can provide context behind any dependencies that need to be addressed and loop in stakeholders. All right, I wanna to pivot to another premium feature and that's gonna be how premium is going to be able to provide substantial bump in your automation limits. This means you can freely leverage global automation which applies automation roles to your entire JIRA site. This allows your team to standardize best practices across your organization, whether it's to support internal processes or simply eliminate manual tasks. Automation in JIRA requires zero coding, and we offer tons of templates with common uses, use cases to make it quick and easy to get started. You can try searching for an automation rule or simply browse the categories for common use cases. We also have them grouped, like I said, by categories. Okay, and then we also want to talk about another premium feature, and that's going to be issue hierarchy. So issue hierarchy, which defines the relationship between issue types from big to small, is customizable and expandable in premium. This is a question that we get a lot, which is, hey, can I have an issue type that is above an epic? Well, with Jira Premium, you can. 
This ability comes in handy when you have a big goal spanning multiple initiatives or programs of work that need to be reflected in JIRA. By default, JIRA comes with three issue levels, but with premium, you can add and customize as many levels as you'd like to match your team's way of working. For example, this issue hierarchy is going to be modified to match the SAFE framework.